those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm not talking to yourself. Hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan guys. Now, do you remember not so long back we showed you how we construct our typical salad when we're having salad and something? If you don't remember, it was in this video up here. It's fancy. I have to find out which video that was now because I'm not sure whether it was our what we eat in a day or what we eat in seven days. It'd be easy enough to find. But we did show you how we constructed a salad. So this evening we're having pizza, the one that we bought from Asda in our recent Asda vlog. Haven't seen it? Shopping vlogs, I'll list them up there. Doll. <laughs> um, and I came across this recipe, this fantastic recipe for a vegan ranch dressing from this video, which I'm going to link up there now. That's nice. Well, That's nice. it's, you know, yeah. uh, so I've jotted the recipe down, I've tried it a few times, it's gorgeous and it's the perfect dressing to have with our pizza and salad this evening. Um, so let me, let me show you how to make it it's a salad dressing this is let me entertain you uh you pour it on there and shove it in there it's really versatile okay here we go vegan ranch dressing should be rather fine actually took my jumper off if you noticed and now my t-shirt's gone all clingy. Oh, I don't like that at all. Now, you should be keeping your shelled hemp seeds in the fridge. One of our subscribers told me this recently. So this is a repurposed Sainsbury's curry sauce jam. Fabulous. And the first ingredient in our salad dressing is three tablespoons of hemp seeds. And it should help the dressing actually that these have been in the fridge, Jason. Really? Mm. Why is that? Well, they're, they're quite oily hemp seeds. They kind of add the oil mm -hmm. you like to this dressing. So the oil parts of the seeds will have gone cold and hard in the fridge and will therefore help to make the dressing cold. Well, I never. I know. So three tablespoons of hemp seeds, half a teaspoon each, of onion powder or onion granules, half a teaspoon, and garlic granules. That's half a teaspoon each. Seems pretty straightforward so far. Have you got one of these uh, little sets? You know, all the different measuring, they're, they're, they're amazing. It just means you don't have to convert recipes, you see, if you find them in America or whatever. You can do the, the cups and the... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then... A nice little... Uh, oh, where's it gone? It's there. A nice little twist of black pepper. Probably about the same if you're measuring it, about half a teaspoon. Uh, but just a good grind like that will do us perfect. Then, Jason, excuse me, while I walk over here, I'm coming back. Here I am, look at me. <laughs> Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Two tablespoons. white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of, oh, now then, where's my day? So organised, that's what I love, that's what, that's what's the best thing about creating content, is how organised we are. Dates, so the recipe says two tablespoons of raisins, when I did it, I used dates instead of raisins, and I'm gonna do that again tonight. Well, it's gorgeous. So, well, they're the sweet. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put five dates in. Five dates. Okay, Jess? Pushing the boat out. Keeping up with me. Why, are you gonna test me? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, man. You're totally gonna get tested. Every day your life's a test with me. Don't you understand that? I do. Three. <laughs> three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of rolled oats. Do you know what I've done? Opened a packet of Quaker original porridge. You know those single packs when you do it microwave? That's what I've done. Now these will add thickness to the dressing. Thickness and viscosity. Ooh, word of the day. Lovely, really. And then, key ingredient for a ranch dressing is a tablespoon, a teaspoon, sorry, a teaspoon of dill, dried dill. That's your secret ingredient when it comes to a ranch dressing. Really? Yeah, dill. And then half a cup, see how it says half a cup there, Jason? Mm, isn't that clever? Half a cup of plant milk. And we're using gilkia. Gilkia! <laughs> you can't see my poor husband's face behind the camera. <laughs> Who's trying very hard to stay focused with me doing all my shenanigans. It's just silliness is what it is, silliness. Shh, shh, don't speak. Now, some people might be thinking, this is quite a lot of very specific measured ingredients, but it is well worth it, isn't it? It is worth it because, let's not forget, from what you've just seen, this is an oil-free dressing. Compl other than the oil that's in the hemp seeds, mm. which is good oil, full of omega-3 and 6s, um, there's no oil in this dressing. So you can do this in your jug blender or your Nutribullet. So what happens now? I'll be back. You're going to see it pour in in a second, but if you can see, that's what the dressing looks like. Yeah, kind of. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, but let's give you a nice shot of it being poured over the salad. Maybe slow-mo with a bit of music. Like your ten. And there you go, that is the wonderful salad and dressing we'll be having tonight with pizza. What pizza might you be having, Paul and Jason? This one. Remember, it's from our um, Asda. I'm not even going to doubt sure. Holly for a second. I'm just going to assume that she's got it in focus yeah. and all is good. £1.50. Well, I remembered once we bought it, we've had it before and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. All the vegetables on it are gorgeous. Yeah. All I've done is added some Kalmata olives. Not calamari olives, like I said it's last Kalmata. time. Kalmata. Kalmata uh, Can just I just say as well, I had a smell of the dressing after it had come off the uh, Nutribullet and it was, it smelled delightful. Proper, proper nice. It is better, I, truth be known, if you make it and then fridge it. It is better, rather than making it and eating it straight away. Or, substitute a bit of the plant milk for a couple of ice cubes. Interesting. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, got something from uh, Paul's little, uh, rather fabulous uh, dressing. Well, not mine. My my doing someone else's recipe. I've already linked her up there. Yeah. She's fabulous. Have a look at her channel. Uh, but we're going to be using this one quite a lot in the future. Mm. I'm all up for this because dressings are all about taste, and if they don't have to be made with oil, why should they? And I reckon if you don't have hemp seeds. You could do that with cashews, soaked cashews. Interesting. They'll still have that oil, they'll still have that moisture, and they'll still have that thickening viscosity. Lovely. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. We very much enjoyed your company. We're going to shove our <coughs> stuff our faces now with peach and salad. Hey, Seth, you promise? Um, I've kind of been uh, a third wheel in this uh, recipe situation, which is often the case. But, as always, thank you for taking the time to check out our channel. Um, if you haven't already, please give, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks, as always, to our patrons who help us do this, as I always say. Everybody does. Everybody does. Yeah, but our course. patrons especially, you know, because you finance us. Yes. Obviously. Uh, but everybody, we appreciate all any and all interaction the channel has so thank you we love you i love you love you Mwah. until we see you next time be excellent to yourself and each other ready for this i am let's end with a shot like this <gasps> oh look at it look at my salad <sighs> <laughs> really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links to the two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going. Uh, through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys. 